Hello, I'm Josh Boyles. I'm an Instructional Technology Coordinator from Midland ISD, and welcome to this tutorial on speech captions in Google Slides. So speech captions in Google Slides is something really good for you to be able to use, um, especially for students with accommodations, or if you just wanna have that extra layer of uh, differentiation for students who like to both see the visual and read at the same time. So we'll go ahead and get started. So using speech to text captions in Google Slides is actually really easy. What I'm going to go ahead and do is click the slideshow button to start my slideshow. And you can see here what I've used is just one of those um, templates that they give you in the Google Slides app. And as you can see, I can just scroll through some of my slides here. So it's just a regular slideshow. And what you may not have ever noticed is that down at the left hand corner, there's this little tab that will appear if you hover your mouse over that corner. And that will allow you to uh, go from one slide to the next with these little arrows. But over on the corner, you'll see this uh, three dots. Uh, some people call it the snowman. You can just click on the snowman there and you'll see some more options appear. So down close to the bottom of that drop down menu, you'll see something called captions preferences with the little closed caption icon next to it. And then inside of that are even more options. And right here you see where it says toggle captions and it's going to display in English. Um, you just click that and check out what happens. See, it's already picking up my voice and anything that I say is going to be transferred to text there on the slides at the bottom of the screen. And that's really cool, isn't it? Another thing that I would show you real quick is if you go back into the snowman and you go to that captions preferences, you can actually change um, whether that will appear at the top or the bottom with the text position and you can change the text size as well. So we can change it from the bottom to the top and there you can see whatever I'm saying appears at the top now and then we'll go back in there and we can choose the size and you can choose between large, medium, small. I honestly like to keep it large. Um, that way students at the back of the room can actually read those a little bit better as well. And as you can see, it's just picking up whatever I say. And what's really great about this is that um, the program or the app will actually pick up your voice from whatever you're using. So it could be um, a built-in microphone that just comes with your computer or laptop, which is very convenient. Or you could actually use an external microphone uh, with the USB port, um, kind of like what I'm doing right here. But either way, that should work out for you. One more thing I would show you before I let you go here is that if we go back into caption preferences and go into uh, that toggle captions, that is kind of actually the long way to do it. So I could click that um, and make it go away or click it again and you know have my text come back. But there's an easier way. So if you notice, there's actually a keyboard shortcut, Command Shift C. So if I just type in Command Shift C, that will bring up my captions on and off automatically. So let's try Command Shift C. And there you see my captions are gone. One more time, Command Shift C. And there they are back again. Okay, so if you just memorize that keyboard shortcut, that is super convenient. You can pretty much just do it on the fly without having to think about it. So I hope that has helped you today. A little bit of a, a tip and trick there for your Google Slides, hopefully to make teaching easier. Thank you so much for joining me and we will see you next time.